The two biggest uh, challenges facing Kenya, uh, as I say, as in most developing countries, are uh, unemployment and poverty. And so if you look at the economic pillar, it is geared towards addressing unemployment. We have a pyramid, a very wide-based pyramid in terms of population demographics. You know, we have about 50% of our population below the age of 18. And so we realize we have to do something about jobs. And so the economic pillar, the seven sectors in the economic pillar, we've got projects and programs geared at creating employment. Value addition in agriculture. You know, today we have, you know, Kenya has got, you know, is, world, is famous worldwide for coffee and for flowers and for tea. Uh, and yet we get very, we retain very little value in Kenya. So we intend to introduce value addition programs, or rather we have introduced value addition programs in all those sectors so that we want to retain more than half or 60 70 percent of the value uh, in coffee or tea or flowers you know 25 percent of the global flower market in amsterdam is from kenya um, so we spent the first five years focusing on policy and legal reforms in this in that particular sector we collapsed 131 acts of parliament into five acts of parliament to make it an easy more navigable area for people who are looking to address the entire value chain because it's, a, it's about looking at the entire value chain in agribusiness and similarly in uh, tourism we're saying uh, kenya is also famous for touristic uh, touristically they for wildlife great flora and fauna and yet we don't have that many tourists we don't have very uh, premium products we have the maasai mara uh, the famous maasai mara we think you should pay a little bit more for the Maasai Mara, to visit the Maasai Mara. So again, uh, developing new products um, in Kenya, in tourism. Um, the origin of man, uh, Richard Leakey, discovered Turkana boy many years ago, who is actually the oldest known full fossil. And so we believe the origin of mankind is in Kenya, and we intend to develop that product. Um, and that, of course, is geared towards tourism, you know, raising tourism numbers from our current 1.8 million to, say, 10, 15 million. And with that, of course, comes hotels and other services which create jobs.